It's not exactly where you'd expect to find a bustling hub of successful biotech startups. But take a closer look inside these green and neon pink shipping containers, and that's exactly what you've got. The co-founders of this open cell space, Tom and Helena, say they wanted to offer an unconventional workspace to non-traditional biotech companies like theirs. So a lot of companies are starting to emerge from very unusual backgrounds. Both myself and Lena have uh, not got a formal education in biotechnology or biology. I'm a physicist, uh, she's a designer, um, so we're very unusual and actually a lot of people on this side have that sort of similar flair. But even the co-founders admit that they were a little sceptical on hearing about the location at first. And I was in the beginning a little bit uh, suspicious because I thought, like, I'm not really sure if I can build a bio lab in a, in a market stand. But then he opened this door and there was this empty shipping container park. There are around 50 plots for rent in total. And one of the big selling points is that companies can transform the space however they like. Inside each of these shipping containers is a whole range of new ideas being developed, from sustainable bioplastics for the fashion industry to new waste removal technologies and even vegan cosmetics. But for the entrepreneurs sharing the open cell space, it's all about community and a place where they can bounce ideas off one another and collaborate. For the founders of Chipsboard, a company turning industrial potato waste into materials used in furniture and fashion, the sense of community was a huge draw. We just came to this space and we sort of fell in love because they kind of gave us this freedom to do whatever we wanted with the containers. Because they are containers, they're like blank slates, so we'd be able to turn this one into a materials lab where some people have turned them into office spaces. We have another office space in another container. Um, so it was just this blank slate and also the the community around in this area is all bio-based, it's all really enthusiastic, new designers and scientists and artists, it's just an incredible space to be in. By visiting each container, you get a real sense of the diversity of projects Open Cell attracts. And this break from traditional biotech spaces, combined with a community on hand to lend advice or equipment, has seen demand for one of these units grow. Natalie Powell, CGTN, London.